Good afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. This time, the accused thief works for the Bureau of Land Management. He's accused of sneaking credit card information and trying to cash in for nearly 10 grand. 29 year old Nicholas Mondragon is in big trouble. He's facing federal charges of theft of government property and fraud. BLM confirms Mondragon works as a firefighter for the agency when needed. According to court documents, Mondragon tried to charge nearly $10,000 worth of items to a BLM fleet credit card that he was not authorized to use. Investigators say he pulled off several purchases, one at the Four Wheel Parts Performance Center in Albuquerque. They say he bought a winch worth nearly $1,200. And he charged another $1,100 in tool purchases at this Albuquerque business. But it was the next big ticket item that got him caught. Investigators say he tried to buy $1,400 worth of welding equipment at a store in Santa Fe. When the purchase was declined, he tried the store in Albuquerque. This time he upped the ante, trying for $2,700 worth of welding tools and even a welding machine. Again, he was declined. But investigators say Mondragon wasn't done yet. They say he visited the Outdoorsmen of Santa Fe, a store inside the De Vargas Mall, and tried to buy a $2,500 pair of binoculars. That purchase, too, was declined. It didn't take long for Mondragon's bosses to figure things out. The following day, they were alerted to the attempted charges, both on cards linked to BLM fire vehicles. After doing a little research and some photo lineups, they determined Mondragon was behind the thefts. When they confronted him, they say he cracked, saying he had gotten the credit card information when a lockbox with the cards was left open. He claims he's not the only one who has it. At this point, no one else has been charged in this case. Right now, Mondragon is still in jail. BLM says as long as this case is pending, he will not be working for them and it's likely he won't be able to work for other federal agencies.